All right, what's good, y'all? Uh, we're back. The video today is going to be a little different. It's not exactly the typical edited video that you guys normally see from me. Basically, I gave a Fox lesson a couple weeks ago, and I was just going to record it for the guy. It's just for him to have so he could look back on it. But I figured why not just post it as a video, but, you know, not in the typical editing fashion that I normally do. It is chopped down a good amount, but, you know, for the most part, it's a lot of raw footage and raw gameplay and just me kind of talking unedited so yeah i just figured i put it out there just in case there's other people out there who maybe want to learn fox and just hear some tips about what you're supposed to do and what not supposed to do with him i do plan on making a full fox guide at some point in the next couple weeks hopefully so if y'all are looking forward to that then definitely subscribe so that you could see that when it comes out and yeah if y'all enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all. So the first game is just going to be trying to feeling him out, seeing how he plays, and then I'm going to give him some feedback right after. Yeah. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. Yeah, what So just in general, I would, I would say a lot more movement. It just don't sit in shield as much. I noticed I was getting a lot of free grabs because you would do a move and then kind of just shield and then that's just free for me to just go up and grab. So whether you hit a move or miss a move, it's important to always keep moving around. Just make it hard for me to catch you. Especially as Fox, he's so fast that you could just kind of just get away with like whiffing certain moves because he has like so little actual end lag on anything he does. Once you're off stage, it feels like it's like impossible to get back sometimes. And that's just basically up to you to mix up as the fox how you get back. And just like that actually, a lot of, a lot of good things to do. Shine stalls. I want to say like, sometimes people are afraid to recover low. Just because you, cause you know, it's like so easy to like get hit out of it or just there's so much startup to it. But I would say... It's good to just mix up sometimes what you do in terms of up B or side B, and then obviously shine helps with stalling and everything like that. We'll throw off someone's timing. Yeah, so same kind of thing. Um, just, yeah, yeah, moving around a lot more, especially like in that last, last interaction before I threw you off stage. I would say shielding in general is a very selective thing. You really only want to do it after you whip a move, but even then you want to like not have your shield up for more than a second, I would say. I, I think in general, a lot of jabs and neutrals not really going to do much for you. And with Fox, you want to prioritize dash attacks. Um, dash attacks, nares, and also poking with back air, which is a hard thing to do in general, especially like if you're new to a character, is like approaching like backwards to back air. But if, if you get good at that, then I think it'll help a lot because a lot of his combo starters actually start with back air into dash attack and they all just kind of flow into each other. So I would say focus more on prioritizing the less laggy moves and the moves that are actually going to get more for you. So 
in general, less up tilt unless you really think I'm gonna like land on you, which is in that case it's a really good anti-air. And also, uh, if you do something kind of unsafe, like landing with a nair, and you think I'm gonna act right out of it again, that's when you throw out an up tilt because it catches people dropping shield a lot. Basically, forced to wait for you to do the up tilt also. And that's basically a 50-50. I'm like, okay, after he nares, I know it's super safe. Is he gonna up tilt or is he not gonna up tilt? And a lot of the times you'll get away with 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 up tilting right after landing on their shield with nair, and then that's when obviously you could do nairs into itself. You could do a grab after that. You could do a down tilt. So it's a lot of Fox has a lot of 50-50s in neutral for the most part. And once you get really good at doing those and optimizing them in terms of what is the least laggy and what is just the most beneficial, that's when you'll start seeing a lot of progress. Good grab. Good grab. Great grabs. I don't think you're dead. Yeah, wow. Okay, one thing I'm noticing that's really good is you're mixing up with grabs very well. Because one thing about Fox, although he doesn't have a grab game, once you get to those kill percents, and I was doing it myself too, or once I get to those kill percents, then people are just really afraid of Nair and into up smash and so that just conditions people to shield so that was really good that you were getting a lot of grabs off uh one thing i would say i think your punishes could be a little better when i whiff something the the go-to for like a like a whiff like grab or something like that is most of the time dash attack it's frame four super fast and it puts the person vertically above you that they just they're scared of up airs they're scared of coming down and landing on enough smashes, anything like that. And I think there was one time you had a punish on me, but then you just did a jab. So just certain things like that, I would focus on putting your opponent in as many uncomfortable situations as possible. And a lot of that honestly is through dash attacking at mid percents, low percents, even high percents. I think you're getting destroyed by Nair like a lot, just like running in Nair. So I think that that's just the kind of thing where if you think I'm going to approach you with a Nair, that's when you just throw your shield up and then throw it back down and then decide where you want to go from there. So you kind of run up and sh if, if you think I'm going to approach you, you run up or just stay where you are and shield and then wait to see if it actually comes out. If it comes out, usually you can't punish it, but you're not gonna be able to punish everything and you know as a fox player you're definitely someone that a lot of people are not gonna be able to punish so you also just have to get used to that in certain matchups certain certain moves certain areas of the game um but yeah i think just getting hit by nair is gonna help so much because then after i noticed after you get hit by nair then you get scared and shield and then that's when i get a free grab so i feel like if you're yeah, 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 and also the, it puts you usually in a tech, si tech chase situation because Fox is such a fast, fast faller. So, it, and at the end of the day, if, if I think you're just able to shield my approaches, it's going to help a lot more. And again, just the movement around thing, keep moving around. Try to, I, I noticed you were trying to uh, optimize a little more your punishes with uh, dash attack into up airs kind of thing. Uh, and I think there was one time you dash attack and up aired and I rebels guarded it and I like down B rebels guarded it. So you were kind of weren't able to get it. That's the kind of thing where it's not a guaranteed combo to do like a dash deck into up air most of the time. 
but it definitely puts them in a bad situation and then you see how I react and then do something. If you see I down B, if, yeah, if you see I down B, okay, maybe I can't punish it next time, but remember that. Is he going to do that next time or is he going to air dodge? Just always waiting to see what your opponent's going to do after a hit is very important and then punishing them later for doing that if they do it again. See, perfect. There you go. Good, you waited. Yeah, the shielding. You're still shielding a lot. Good whiff punishing now. Great spacing. Okay, already a lot better with the, um, I noticed you were spacing out a lot better in my moves, respecting the Nair a lot more. Um, one thing I would say, I, I think I, I noticed this slightly, I, as Fox, you have so much to lose from down smashing at the ledge and not, yeah. because I don't know if you, I don't know if you know this, it's actually as laggy as up smash. So people, a lot of the time, people, people a lot of time have a lot of just time in the world to react and to just punish and it, it is a good two frame move but i really would not go for it unless you're up a stock convincingly and you know it's gonna kill kind of thing even then it's very selective when you do it also fox's ledge trapping i've noticed this too fox's ledge trapping is so amazing in this game i don't think you're doing a lot of it and honestly a lot of fox's leg trapping is just literally falling with nair at the ledge just repeatedly like falling nearing at the ledge. It catches jump from ledge, it catches jump attack from ledge, depending what the attack is, it catches regular getup. And um, a lot of the time it usually combos into jab right after that, which does like 20% plus. So a lot of the time, and it, it also Fox is fast enough where if the person does roll, you can react to it with a dash attack or a grab or just whatever. So a lot of Fox's ledge trapping is just literally falling there on the ledge. And obviously sometimes you don't want to do that consistently because you know someone might time like like a get up attack or they might time a, a drop down a forward air move or an up air move depending on what the character is. And that's when you bait out a get up attack or one of those moves by shielding. Also don't go off stage as Fox <laughs> really. really you, you don't go off stage <laughs> unless unless you could really checkmate them like do like like a lingering nair where they have no option to recover and you know if you hit this nair like they're dead besides that i would not go off stage
Yeah, so same kind of thing. I think as you're approaching, especially Joker as a character likes to whiff punish a lot. And he kind of likes to, I don't know if you know this, I do a lot of, um, and it's just kind of the character, but also me as a person. I do like retreating aerials. Like I won't really do a back air towards you. I'll do like a, a back air where I am or I'll kind of back up, you know what I mean? I'm not moving forward with the back air, and that's just because I know you need to come at me. It's more of like, you know, I know you're gonna try and come in this space, and that's why I'm gonna throw out this back air right here to cover that space. So I think a lot of, basically to prevent that, like I said before, a lot of run up, running up the shield, and like in this situation you were on the ledge before, I was just like, I was just hopping like this, and doing like retreating back airs kind of here, like that, because I know you're gonna come at me, and I don't want to be like super in your face because you know Fox has up smash and dash attack which are really good burst options and really good at whiff punishing so because I think you're gonna like dash attack say like from here to this area that's why I want to do a back air like here I don't want to go at you with the back air I want to retreat with it like that and so to stop that as as you as the Fox player that's like what I was saying before you run up and shield Run up in shield and then decide what you want to do. And also, I would do a lot of up throws because although obviously Fox doesn't have any combo throws or kill throws, putting someone above you is one of the scariest things because Fox loves to keep you keep you above him so he could throw out potential up airs or so you could basically land on an up smash. At lower percents, down throw because down throw sends at an angle. Usually, there's platforms in stages you want to play as box you want platforms if you do a down throw anywhere like in this area a lot of the time it'll put them in tumble where they might be forced into a tech situation on the ledge and if you see a, t a potential tech situation on a uh, not a ledge sorry a platform that's golden for fox because then you can try and read what they're gonna do get guaranteed two up airs that's at least 30 damage right there lower percents down throw at higher percents up throw and then if they're if you want to just get them off stage that's when you forward throw but it obviously needs to be near near the ledge and also don't run up don't run up and grab also that's a really important thing too like dash grabs are very very laggy it's very laggy but standing grabs are way better and that's also part of the thing like i said if we both have in our minds the idea that we're going to go at each other with a move and say we both run up shield at each other right Boom, that's when you go for a grab. Because then if you if you put yourself in shield, anything you do after that, grab-wise, it's a standing grab. So even if you miss it, it's not going to be as punishable as if you're just trying to run up and do this. So you run up, shield, grab. Down air is not something you want to do just landing or just, just to kind of like break, like get someone off. You only want to use it to if someone's shielding. And it's a great mix-up because if I'm at, say I'm at kill percent right now, I'm afraid of uh, you landing with Nair, right? That's when you mix up with with the, see right there, I tried to parry because I'm like, all right, I think he's gonna land with Nair, I wanna parry and get a punish. That's when you threw out the multi-hit move, which is down air, which also combos into up smash. I hit those sets. Yeah, now, 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 this is a complete 180 for him, probably, because I actually, I, I, I wouldn't say I don't play Joker, but it's definitely not one of my upper characters. So he's definitely seeing a huge tempo change. But this is good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show him what's up by beating him first. I mean, that's the best way to learn, honestly. Good grab. Okay, he's grabbed her on point. I think.
he's able to use those at higher percents for sure I think that's when it would be more beneficial but if you're able to read like that and get a grab off that's when you just do something instead of like a dash attack which is going to lead into more percent Okay, so right away, I, I know I threw a huge tempo change at you by going Fox. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, I was, especially at the ledge, at kill percents, that's when you, I don't know if you noticed, I was doing a lot of falling back airs, and you were probably like, oh my god, like, this is so overwhelming, how am I supposed to deal with this? That's exactly how you want your opponent to feel, especially, like, in those situations on the ledge. At lower percents, you know, that's when you do the nair, but then at kill percents, where back air is going to kill, and usually on characters that's around 110, 120, depending on how much you use back air, because I don't know if you know, it's an ongoing joke, like, yeah, Fox back air does not kill, like, it always kills, Sparks doesn't kill, it's like an ongoing joke or whatever. Um, but yeah, in those situations where you feel like it's going to kill, that's when you're spamming it at the ledge, especially if it's against an opponent or a character that's not able to do anything about it. And... Yeah, you were dealing with it decently well, but I would say that's something to take for when you're ledge trapping is just throwing out a lot of back airs. And I don't know if you noticed too, I would throw out like two back airs just while you're on the ledge to just... Exactly, I was mixing up the timing. Yep, yep, sometimes I would do it high because I'm like, alright, is he going to jump like high? It's going to cover that. I'm going to do it low in case he tries to throw out a forward air. I'm going to catch it before it comes out. Or even sometimes to catch a regular getup, if, if you're really good with the timing, you'll do that. But then, I don't know if you notice, I'll do two or three, and then I'll stop. And then, sometimes I'll just wait there, and sometimes I'll shield. Basically, you want to throw out back airs like that to condition your opponent, oh, I don't want to get hit by this back air, maybe I'll roll. And then you're already in a perfect position, literally facing roll distance, and you up smash. I would say one thing, too. People like to say Fox is broken because of all these crazy setups. And they, they are they are crazy. They're not the easiest to hit. But I, I always tell people, I think the 0 to 70 as Fox is very free. Like, taking someone from 0% to 70% is very, very easy. But then, after it's after that, it's, yep, you have to be really good at optimizing, really good at tech chase reads, and really good at just finding situations for Nair up smash. That a lot of that that's when you start seeing the distinction between good foxes and great foxes because anyone could dash attack it's a frame four dash attack anyone could frame four dash attack anyone could do these free up air combos but after that that's when you start seeing the separation between good and great foxes and a lot of it is mind games a lot of it is mind games a lot of it's baiting a lot of it is scaring your opponent choosing your openings well especially a lot more than you would think as a character who's very rushed down sometimes you want to take a take a break be like all right just just chill for a second maybe you back up throw a couple lasers out you know like sometimes sometimes that that, that honestly yeah exactly it's it's constantly mixing up what you want to approach not approach or just be in this like kind of roll distance where you're just trying to feel out your opponent i know you're not used to fox I was playing against Fox, so that's when I was like constantly overwhelming you, constantly throwing out moves kind of thing. But against an opponent I know who knows how to play against Fox, that's when I'm a little more selective with my openings. You're trying to instill fear. I, I always think a lot of people, sometimes they get off the ledge right away, sometimes they take a second. So in that second, you could probably do two of these nares like this, and then shield or sometimes run back and then see what they do. So I would always say just do it twice and then decide if you want to shield, run back, or just do it a third time. A lot of time also people have a lot of pride in this game when it comes to normal get upping. That's people's favorite option because it's probably the best option off ledge. And a lot of the time they're like, oh, he's not going to time this. But this move lingers for so long, you will get clipped by it. And then that'll either it'll put him off stage again or it'll go right into a jab kind of thing. So I would say the safe thing to do, again, it depends opponent to opponent, and that's something you want to read. You want to see if there's someone who likes to jump from ledge and do a forward air, or get up attack, or roll a lot, or just jump in general. And the thing about this, it'll cover so many of those options. And then if, they, if, if you notice a habit that they do 
then that's when you want to capitalize on. If you notice they're constantly get up attacking, or you just think they're going to get up attack because you're just doing this so much, boom, shield, free punish. You usually could do a forward smash. You sometimes up smash you, you know, if it's if it's kill percent, just or just if it's lower percent, just grab, throw them right off stage, boom, so it's the same situation again. Are are they gonna, you know, roll? Are they gonna do this? And then you're so fast, there's so little end lag on this move, you can literally react to the roll dash attack. Now they're above you, where they don't want to be, and where you want them to be, where you could go again with the 50 50s, up airs, and things like that. All right, so now I'll just mute myself, uh, you mute yourself, and just try and see if you could apply some of what I learned, basically. For the last game. Grab, good grab. It's already using some of what I learned. Love to see it. Don't drop your shield like that. Nice. Oh, bad DI. 